What do you think of when you think of a cheerleader? Do you think blonde hair, black or ginger? Tall and muscular or skinny and short? Now with all those details, did you ever even consider a male cheerleader? Guys can't be cheerleaders. It's seen as unmasculine. The minute a guy decides to be a cheerleader, he's immediately considered gay and weird. Oh, hey Sage, how have you been? Oh, hey Sebastian. What's wrong? It's just that I got a low grade. Some girls make fun of me because I got a low grade on my test, but it's a low grade. I got a 95 on it, but they think because of my hair, and they said, no wonder she's a chill leader. <sighs> don't listen to them. They don't know anything. Come on, let's go to lunch. Yeah. Are you ready for the cafeteria today? I'm so ready. You sure they're serving at lunch? Yes. Hello, girl. Are you alright? Yeah, just a hectic day. It looks like it. Whoa, what happened to that? Someone stepped on it. What? Who? It was Nola, but it was an accident. She Nola. Didn't see me. Of course it was a print cheerleader. Nola. You know what they say about Nola, right? Well, I know everyone says she's mean, but she's rude. Apparently, she wears creepy makeup, and she broke this one girl's arm in the cheer uh, cheerleading room. Uh, she ended up quitting after that. And she's not the only cheerleader with rumors. Sage supposedly pays off the teachers for good grades, and Sebastian, he's just gay. But he may not be. A boy cheerleader is never good news. Who oh, can be nice? Rebecca's gonna uh, test her crush today. What? Who is it? Ashton Duh, the cheerleader. What? He's gay and a boy cheerleader. Rebecca, you can't be serious. Hey, don't get mad at Rebecca. It's not her fault. Cheerleaders are all bad people, just like Zoe said. What if they target you? I don't think they're all that bad. Sure, sure. But Rebecca, you might want to be careful. No one might target you. But, and I am not having my little sister date a cheerleader. You are not going to be confessing to that boy. Hey, Zoe, do you know where the cheer locker rooms are? Yeah, why? Because I have an idea to get revenge on those little cheerleaders. He's not! Oh, come on! It'll just be a little prank. I'll go in there and pretend to ride on their uniforms. Wait, why? We'll ride on plastic wrap, then we can just take it off. They'll freak out and Rebecca can get over her little crush. Or you can confess. You can wear something cute in his uniform. But well, wouldn't that be romantic? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. so I said, oh, what are you doing? Oh now? my god, and... Uh-oh. What did you do? I'm so sorry. It was just meant to, meant to be a little prank. We didn't mean it. That's what you get for breaking my little sister's bracelets. What? Kim, that was an accident. So? She didn't even apologize. I'm so sorry. We, we really didn't mean to. Rebecca, it's okay. I'm still angry that you did it to my little sister. She's so defenseless about her little crush. Shut up! Well, I'm sorry for what I did, even though I can't remember it. It was an accident. Yeah, sure, you didn't even stop to help her. She had headphones in! Whatever, she could have stopped to help. And you! Why are you cheerleading if you're a guy? Because my only friends are in it. Plus, I hate athletics. I'm serious, that's really it. Yeah, sure. What are we going to wear for the pep rally now? Are those alcohol based? Because I think I have an idea. I used to be one of those people that imagined two littles to be stupid blondes, mean, and always a girl. 
I made assumptions about them rather than listening to them. But now, I finally see the untold perspective of the life of a cheerleader.